to major global problems. So we're focusing on food security as the first major effort of uh, CAFE, the California Agriculture and Food Enterprise, a UCR center. Um, and we uh, basically took the endowment for the center, the Jane S. Johnson chair, uh, endowed chair, and we've used the funds for uh, that is the primary funding for this conference. But you can't pull off a conference if you don't have the hearts, heads, hearts hands, and brains of uh, very special people. So I'm taking this opportunity now to thank those people who put a pound of flesh into this effort, most notably uh, CAFE's managing director, Deborah Pagliaccia. Um, but also a team of students, faculty, other scholars on campus, staff, who have really put more than, you know, put a tremendous amount of effort into making this a success. So before we go on any further, I'd like to have everybody thank and acknowledge these people. And if those people who participated would please stand up, including Amy from the Culver Center, and so we can give them a round of applause. Okay, the last person who needs to be thanked and introduced is uh, Richard Conlon, who has been involved in policy associated with uh, agriculture, in particular sustainable agriculture, and um, in, uh, with, with regards to governments and nonprofits. Uh, those of you who are involved in the Grow Riverside activity know that Richard was the facilitator and the driving source to get Grow Riverside going, as well as assembling Riverside's Food System Alliance. What you may not know is that he was uh, equally successful in doing the same thing in the city of Seattle, where he was also a Seattle councilman. Uh, Richard's going to be our Master of Ceremonies, and he is a world-class facilitator. So at this point, I'm going to hand the microphone over to Richard and welcome him and thank him for his efforts. Great. Thank you so much, Norm. I really appreciate that introduction, and it's great to see you all here. So I am going to be facilitating the program. And what I want to do is just give you a quick introduction to the format, how the program is going to work, the logistics, and then we'll move immediately into the beginning of the program itself. So first of all, in terms of the format, we're going to start with a keynote. We will then have a set of three talks in three different kinds of sessions. After each talk, there will be an opportunity for interaction, uh, and then there will be a panel. So in the program, this is flipped a little bit from what's in the program, where we list the panel and then the interactive opportunity, but it's going to be flipped and turned around on that. Logistics. It is a tight schedule. Um, conferences always run a little bit off schedule, and that's going to be OK, but I'm going to do my best to keep things moving on time and ensure that there is the time and opportunity for interaction. A couple of other logistical notes. The bathrooms are over there in the back on that side um, before you get to the break room. And I want to mention there are paintings on the walls. And just be very careful about uh, not interacting with those paintings. Uh, they are an important part of the collection here. So we appreciate you paying attention and taking care of them. The goal of the conference is to open minds to new ideas and to create the opportunity to imagine real world solutions and actionable projects. One of the ways that's going to happen is at the Friday afternoon breakout sessions. In the Friday afternoon breakout sessions, there will be sign-up sheets that will be set up for people to sign up for which one of the breakout sessions they want to go into. The, there will be two breakout sessions. At the first one, you will have the opportunity to choose the breakout session you want to be in based on the four topics. At the second one, we will be assigning people randomly to those four, the goal being to provide First, the enthusiasm and excitement about that particular topic, and then secondly, some kind of real-world check-in on what's happened in that topic from people who may not have that as their top priority. There's lots of interactive opportunities during this conference. There will be live streaming. There'll be an interactive drawing space over here. There will also be podcast and video interviews that will go on. Um, you can see more information on that in the program. I'm not going to give you any more details than that. 
We are going to be using the Poll Everywhere app. Uh, you can access that on your phone, either using text, and we'll give you instructions on how to do that, or by downloading the Poll Everywhere app and responding to that. For each presentation, there will be a question that we'll ask you to respond to before the presentation. And then before the panel um, presentation, we will have those, the responses to those questions displayed here on the screen so everybody can see how the responses went uh, before the presentations. If you have questions for the panel, which we hope you will, there are two opportunities to do that. One is you can send questions via the Poll Everywhere app and we'll have a question sending mechanism up for you. Or there will also be three by five cards which we'll be distributing and collecting. We know that there will be a lot of questions. Um, I will be trying to sort and facilitate and get as many of those to the panel as possible, but not all of them will be able to be answered. So just uh, acknowledge that, but if you have questions, be sure and, and put them down and make sure that they get to, get to us as the panel discussion is happening. The introductions that I give are going to be very brief. You'll find details about all the speakers in the book, so I'm gonna give like a sentence and then bring them on. So, to get started, we're going to um, uh, start an experiment with the uh, Poll Everywhere. Uh, again, remember you access this on your text or your app, and we're going to do an example, and Deborah's gonna lead us through the example. So here it is up on the board. Okay, so if you have the app, you can insert wedges, uh, pull up the app and put wedges on there. If you're not using the, WAP, the app, the WAP, um, just text wedges to that number to join. And then respond either A, B, C, or D about how you're feeling today. So you can see the number of results appearing down in the lower right hand corner. We've got a lot of people feeling really good today. Give you about 30 seconds to respond to this. This shouldn't be too hard to answer. Uh oh. I said normal. I said that's just to be contrary. You would. Okay, has everybody had a chance to respond? Okay, so you can see it's pretty easy. Um, we've got 21 responses and you can see the distribution laid out there on the, the screen. So that's how simple it is and that's what we're going to be doing before each one of the presentations. Um, so, we're now gonna turn to our first Poll Everywhere question um, for uh, Timothy Searinger's, Searinger's uh, presentation. So let's bring that up. Yes, we'll do the question first. Okay, so here is the question. Is there enough food in the world to feed everyone on Earth? Please respond yes or no. We'll give you about 30 seconds to respond. No more than that. Okay, I'm not seeing any more, many more responses. Give you about five seconds. Yes or no question? Okay, 26 results, 7% no, 93% yes. 